Tobago has recorded its third murder for the year so far. The latest victim is Dwight Turpin, who was shot and killed at Black Rock, Tobago. According to reports, 37-year-old Turpin, a laborer employed by the Tobago House of Assembly, was at his job site around 7 a.m. when a lone gunman walked up to him and shot him several times. He died on the scene at Mount Haytrees. The gunman is said to have escaped in Mr. Turpin's white Honda Civic vehicle. Meanwhile, police in Tobago are trying to identify the body of a man found in a shallow grave on Tuesday evening. Police said they went to Old Milford Road, Lowlands, where the body was dug up from a grave behind an incomplete concrete structure. According to reports, the body was clad in a dark-colored underwear and a multicolored striped T-shirt. Investigators will await the outcome of an autopsy to determine the cause of death. Chief Secretary of the Tobago House of Assembly, Ansel Dennis, has expressed condolences to the family, friends, and co-workers of Tobago murder victim Dwight Turpin. Mr. Turpin was an employee of the THE. The Chief Secretary says every occurrence of crime concerns him, and Tobago's safety and security remain top priorities for the THE. Last week, I met with the Commissioner of Police, and we discussed matters concerning the safety and security of Tobago and I have been given the assurance that the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service will continue to work closely with us here in Tobago to ensure that we manage the crime situation here on the island. The THA will provide psychological and other necessary support to THA staff impacted by Mr. Turpin's death. 